massage yourself. Hey guys, it's your girl Valerie Ortiz here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. And as you can see, we are not hanging out in our cozy American Latino TV studio this week because I figured we'd take things outside our usual confines and head out to a very creative place that I find truly inspirational. So we are kicking off today's episode on location at Casa 0101 in East Los Angeles. Now, veteran award-winning screenwriter Josefina Lopez, who is most known for her play that eventually turned into the film Real Women Have Curves, founded Casa 0101 as a way to teach and nurture a new generation of Latino directors, writers, and performers. And coming up, I have the pleasure of catching up with Josefina as well as a few of the talents behind her latest play to find out what the magic at Casa 0101 is all about. Check it out. Brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josefina Lopez. I'm the artistic director of Casa 0101. I'm also the screenwriter of Real Women Have Curves. And I'm the screenwriter for A Cat Named Mercy, which is being presented at Casa. Good show. One, and two, one, two, three, Mercy! So when Real Women Have Curves came out in 2002, that was about 12 years ago, after having very little success in getting another movie, I, I decided to start my own theater. And I said, let me just tell the stories that I want to tell in the theater, in the barrio. I grew up in Boyle Heights. But when I was growing up, there were no theaters, no galleries. And so I wanted to create a space for young people, the kind of space that I wish would have existed back when I was a young girl. I grew up in this neighborhood, and um, I had been interested in theater and performing. And I was—I ne never knew if there was a theater in in the community because there is no such thing. You don't grow up with that kind of stuff here. In this neighborhood, I didn't even know this that there's 87 gangs. The theater, the auditorium at my high school was burned down by ninth graders. To me, the tragedy is that there's 87 gangs, and then there's tons of extreme born-again Christian churches. And so I wanted to create something, you know, kind of in the middle. You know, believe in yourself. Do something with the talents that God gave you. I accidentally mixed up urine uh, uh, with apple juice and <laughs> had this first drink in it. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> and it's funny. Oh, you're serious. Alex Jimenez plays Catalina. She is the protagonist of our play and she plays uh, a young woman who's a licensed vocational nurse. I, I don't have much money, but I know about you too. Who told you? And she finds out that she's been raped. Oh, I know about that. Yeah. Yeah. And she finds out that she has cancer that is potentially terminal unless she gets an operation immediately. However, she loses all of her uh, uh, benefits because she has her hours cut. I wrote the play because I had a uh, first stage of cancer. And as a result of that, later on when I tried to get insurance, I was denied. Sorry, this is really unfortunate, but we can't schedule the surgery. But, but you just said serious and I could die. Yes, but without insurance, we can't help you. Understanding the play and understanding her struggle as a writer, it was so great connection that I felt that I needed to do this. But I wanted to write a play to celebrate, celebrate the Affordable Care Act because there's so much discrimination that was legalized and now it's illegal to discriminate against people who are sick. I think there are no permanent uh, theaters in East LA at the moment except for Casa 01 Theater. And that was Josefina's mission, to bring theater into the community. She really thinks of the community first before her. I don't think she's doing this for being famous or for, for being known or for the need that the community has. She knows how to connect to you on, on a level you didn't know that you you could. Alex Jimenez, she says, I, I don't understand, and I said, it's okay, because the character doesn't understand either. But she's being divinely guided, and in the same way that I feel like I'm being divinely guided to open the space, to create movies, 
um, because I have beaten the odds so many times and I think it's because someone upstairs wants me to win.